one in every 365 African Americans are diagnosed with sickle cell anemia each year. The only known cure is a bone marrow transplant. Be the Match Registry has played a pivotal role in rallying black marrow donors to help aid patients dealing with blood diseases such as sickle cell and other illnesses. And the organization continues to sound the alarm for more black donors. Joining me to discuss the importance of bone marrow donation and how you can get involved is Mike London, head coach for the Howard University football team, HU, and a proud bone marrow donor. Coach, welcome. Also joining us from Skype is New York City journalist, bone marrow donor, and Be The Match board member, Abby West. Welcome both of you to News One Now. Thanks for having me. Critically, critically important topic. You know, we know, as the stats say, that one in 365 of us are being affected, but not enough being done about it. What is it that we can do? Well, it's, it's there are several things. One, become involved. It's, it's about educating ourselves as individuals and know that, you know, there are, there are countless number of people that are out there that need the services of bone marrow transplants, need funding, um, uh, just, just general education, how we can help uh, uh, affect people whose lives have been affected by this, my life and other, other lives. So uh, it, it's critically important that we, we galvanize and educate and, and support this, uh, the, you know, Be The Match Foundation and, and try to find a cure. Now you have a personal story connected to this. You were a donor yourself. Tell us whatever you feel comfortable about how that process happened for you. No, I, I was a football coach at Boston College back in uh, 2000, and uh, daughter Tyson got uh, got sick, and we didn't know what what happened, what was going on, on, on here with her, and and uh, we took her to a hospital at uh, the Children's Hospital in Boston, and they said that she had a a rare disease called Fanconi anemia, which is your body in, inability to to fight off uh, infections and produce white blood cells. So obviously, as a young parent, you're, you're frantic. You're trying to find out, you know, what it is. What can what do you do, and and try to get your child healed. And we find out that uh, you know the only cure for that was a bone marrow transplant. And at the time, you know, we joined the National Bone Marrow Registry. We couldn't find a match. And then finally, you know, the doctors uh, said, hey, "Listen, you know, if, if we don't find a match here soon, then your your, your daughter's going to die." And you know, you don't want to hear those words. I mean, those words that are that are that are. They paralyze you, but at the same time, you got to get up and you have to do something. So I remember we were getting ready to leave Boston College and go to University of Virginia. Al Gro had just become the head coach at Virginia after leaving the New York Jets. And in finding uh, a hospital that was near Virginia, it was John Hopkins. So we went to John Hopkins and uh, you know, they did testing there. And, and then finally, they said, Mr. London, you're the match. And you know, the odds that uh, a parent. Mm -hmm being a match for their own child, particularly right. of, of in the African-American community. They use words as 10,000 to one, a million to one. And to be the match, it was, it was uh, you know, when I talk about it, you get, you get choked up a little bit because, you know, being the match. Mm -hmm. And so we did the transplant in April, April 29th, 2003. And um, she'll be celebrating uh, 13 years cancer-free as a student at Old Dominion University. So. Mm -hmm. I'm here to say that the odds and opportunities exist if we get involved. Well, thank God. So, Abby, they got a bona fide miracle. There are many who it's not going to be that simple for. Explain to us why Be The Match is important and what we can all do. Well, the most important thing is to be educated and be ready, willing, and able to be a match to someone. And that is understanding that, you know, a bone marrow transplant is often the only cure for someone's life-threatening blood cancer. And for us, it is really just important to understand that we need to be overrepresented on this registry, you know, because of the diversity in our tissue typing. And we just need more people to sign up, understand the process, and be re ready, willing, and able to answer that call when it comes. How do they sign up for Be The Match? It's very simple. It, you sign either at a donor registry in your area or you go online to bethematch.org and you fill out a health um, form and do the cheek swab. And once that's done, it, you just have to be ready when the call comes so you can show up for someone and play the hero in someone else's story. All right, you got to break it down even further. How do people find donor registries in their area? There are there are often many searches, but if you do go to be the match.org, that will also help you suss out what's in your state and what's your region. 
That is great. You said be the match dot org. Uh, or, yes. Everyone, please do that today. I've had people in my family be affected. The worst thing you want is for someone to be all the way in full blown crisis by the time you find out. So thank you so much to you, Coach, and to you, Abby. We all have to do what we can. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37 year old black man was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police. His hands are in the air and you still get shot by the cops. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not gonna let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. We will keep focused on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at seven on TV One.